Welcome to my YouTube channel for wedding and photo related tips and tricks and things. You are now watching the James Word Mansion Tour. Now, I'm a wedding photographer based in New Jersey and I got the privilege of photographing at the James Word Mansion with a wedding styled shoot creative team where it looks like it's a wedding, but it wasn't actually a wedding day. So we stylized it with a beautiful floral arch installation, a couple tablescapes, so you can get a preview of how that would look. This is Edith with Garden of Edith Floral Design Studio and this beautiful arch costs about uh, probably about $5,000 and up. It all depends on what kind of flowers, also the labor. We invest about five hours just to create this arch and well, it depends on what kind of flowers you want. So a cake like this is very custom. All the cakes that we do are extremely customizable to what you're looking for regarding flowers, regarding your guest amount. So a cake really comes down to all of those factors, but a cake like this would probably cost around 1500 estimate plus. What your average cost for hair services are um, two, the, between two and 250 And then how about makeup too? Uh, same price. Um, traditional makeup is 200 airbrush makeup is 250 We had beautiful chairs set up from the venue that provides them. And they do flip the ceremony area into a reception space as well. The James Ward Mansion does accommodate up to 120 people. The majority of the weddings that take place there are a max of 100. Now, if you're concerned about parking or transportation at all, there is a massive parking lot behind the building that guests can pay at. Uh, you can also arrange transportation to drop off guests. Do keep in mind, there are a lot of stairs to walk up to the main level. If you do have guests that do require a wheelchair or need assistance on steps, there is a elevator in the back. There are two spiral staircases to get to the bridal suite and the groom suite or the alternative room. You have a list of three different caterers they work with and they can meet any of your dietary needs. You can party all night long until 11 p.m. and if you need to set up early by getting ready in the morning you have two hours prior to ceremony start time to arrive to the venue for bridal prep. Local hotels for your guests or you to stay at, they recommend the Best Western Hotel in Westfield, New Jersey, and they also work with other hotels such as the Hilton Garden. If you're planning on having candles at your wedding, good news, flammable candles are allowed at this venue. The only requirement when booking at the James Ward Mansion when you're looking at their packages is that you do pick one of their caterers. However, you are free to picking your own other vendors if you wish, or you can bundle with a package that they have including vendors. I'm a wedding photographer, so I will be biased. I do believe that every wedding should have a planner or coordinator on the day of. So, this venue does not require that you have a planner. However, I do recommend that you work with someone like the wedding MD. Her name is Martine. She knows the venue inside and out, so she can help you with that. One of my favorite features about the James Ward Mansion has to be the iconic bridal suite at the James Ward Mansion. It's probably the most beautiful bridal suite I have ever seen as a wedding photographer. Now, if you plan on doing bridal prep photos, I recommend doing hair and makeup off-site and have your dress and accessories already there at James Ward Mansion prepared so when you arrive two hours before ceremony start time, all you have to do is get in the dress, 
with your very important bridal party members and your mother, for example, and then you can do a first look with your dad, and then you can read vows or love letter from your partner before seeing each other. Now, if you're looking for any more James Ward Mansion related questions, frequently asked questions, please visit their website. Information about contact at the James Ward Mansion is listed below. Thank you for tuning in. If you can hit the like button or leave a comment below if you have a question about the James Ward Mansion, I'd be happy to answer it as a wedding photographer perspective.